Hey everyone, it's Megan from Lovely Jubbly Furniture and today I'm doing something a little bit different from furniture. I wanted to um, paint some pillowcases by Prima Design that I ordered through Revival Furniture by Mariola. I will post the link and the names and pictures of where I got everything from. The stencil that I am using is, it says Grateful on it. It actually came in a pack of three. Uh, grateful, blessed, and I think thankful. Um, I will also post a picture of that and where I got it from, and hopefully I can post the links. So I am using my R14 round Klingon brush for this project, and I'm also using the color black by Wiesel Chalk Synthesis Paint. So this is the first time I'm doing this, so we shall see how it actually works out. <laughs> I'm hoping it does. And I'm going to, so what I've done, I will show you here, is I've placed my pillowcase and my um, stencil on wax paper. And I've also placed a piece of um, wax paper underneath, like in between the, the pillowcase inside because I haven't done this before I wanted to make sure that there was no um, what do you call it like paint bleed through the top layer of the pillowcase to the bottom because I don't want it on the other side I am going to test that because I'd like to see if actually I don't need the wax paper so we'll see um, if I can do a little bit of that so let's stir. And you're just going to dab the black paint over the stencil. You can take the stencil down. That might actually be a good idea. Um, I didn't. <clears throat> I'm just holding it down. You don't want too much paint on your brush. And then putting too much paint onto the stencil because it'll just, it could go underneath and you don't want that, like underneath the stencil. So, I also haven't, um, I don't know if I said this, if I tested it out um, by washing, by washing the pillowcase with the paint and seeing if it comes off. I'm going to do that so I can show that afterwards. I do know by watching a few other videos of um, examples that it does not wash out. Um, and also from having paint on my clothes, it won't wash out, which in this case is, a, is good, is good for us. So I don't know if you can see, I'll show you a bird's eye view of what I'm doing in a minute. It's just hard to do this. This actually is a really, I really like this stencil. It's quite sturdy and, and thick. It's not a cheap, flimsy stencil. I really like how it's staying down. And then afterwards, um, you can just wash the stencil to get all the paint off. Now with this, as I know, you don't have to um, put anything over the top. I thought maybe the fabric Mod Podge, but you don't. So we shall see. Okay, so I'm going to just show you what I've done here. And that is how you do it. And then as I lift it, so I see here I got a bit of <laughs> paint. Oh, that's my son. <laughs> and that's how it looks. I really, really like it. Except for that little tiny mark of paint that I got on the pillowcase. And you can 
really use any stencil on on this see I just did I did get see this is why I said don't put too much paint and I did because on the back of the stencil um, you can see a little bit of paint that had gone under and that's why I got that black mark um, I wonder if I wipe it right away it will probably come out um, and then what I was thinking is you could do I could do three that might work mm. Mm, let's see what do you think I think three maybe let's try it this could be our tester one <laughs> now I'm gonna see if I can not Um, on these pillowcases, you can also use um, transfers, image transfers, and this is from the same same company, and they have really cool ones. With the image transfers, you are going to use fabric Mod Podge just to seal it afterwards. Um, I don't tend to use, I haven't used the image transfers before, I haven't even used them on um, I haven't even used them on furniture. Uh, I don't know why. I'm just. I will. But, um, but yes, you can. Um, I know that Mariola from Revival Furniture has um, done a few videos on the image transfers, and also using um, the the stencils that they provide on napkins and they do have a brand new product which is um, not only these pillowcases but also the um, pillow, uh, napkins and I think it also it comes they have table runners too now which is awesome really good idea if you want to have a new set for your table and you can do anything, any color. But she has a really good example of how to do it. So I suggest watching that. And I will put the link. I think I can put them in the comments. All right, let's see how this one worked out. So, um, there, I did not, there's a little uh, swirl on the bottom of this word and I didn't actually put it on the other one. I think I'm gonna add that because then that will get rid of that mark. So I have some toilet paper <laughs> or tissue, I guess, on the side. And I'll show you. So I just need to add that swirl on the bottom. because I forgot. I don't know if everybody's kids have gone back to school, but in here in Canada, they haven't. I know, in, I know some schools have, but okay, let's see how that worked. Oh dear. Two of them already. My only mistake is that mark there. So yeah, so that is how you do it. Um, you could probably use a different stencil um, and I would suggest taping it down, which I didn't do. But yeah, I think I like how it is turning out. I think I'm going to do one more on the bottom. And I will show you the final, final picture. Um, you can also wipe the stencil up, down on the back. So remember how I talked about the paint bleed through and that I put wax paper in the pillowcase? 
I just wanted to show you that it turned out perfect and did not bleed through the other side. See, nothing on the wax paper and nothing through the fabric, which is really, really, really good and good to know. And it didn't feel wet. The paint wasn't wet on the fabric. And I really, really like how it turned out. So you don't need the wax paper in between. You can if you want to. Um, but I, I don't feel like with this turnout that you don't need it. Um, and that's also why you don't use a lot of paint on, on the stencil. I hope this was helpful. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much, guys.